Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. Today I thought I would do a what's in my purse video. I did what's in my diaper bag, I don't know, months ago. I'll link that. I think my iCards cards are over here. I'll link that for you so you can watch that. Um, before we get started, a quick hello to my new subscribers. Uh, we're up to 10 members of the community here. That's great. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or click like and subscribe and join us. Anyway, here's my purse. It's yeah, I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. It's got two handles. And it's got like this tassel. It's faux leather. It has no brand in it. It seems kind of in quality and style like a Target thing, but it does not have a Marona tag. So I don't know, but there it is. It's one big compartment with like a little cell phone pocket inside and a little zip pocket. All right, here we go. Let's just, let's just maybe, maybe on my lap. We'll see. Okay, first thing that's in there is a reusable snack bag. Who makes this? Blue Avocado is the brand of this. And it's got some like random leftover snacks for my kids. Um, some deodorants that I need to return to Walmart for my husband because they're the wrong one. The shopping list from going to Walmart at 10 o'clock at night and buying the wrong deodorant. Um, my wallet is the next thing I'm pulling out. I bought this at Goodwill, of course, but it's like a Ferragamo wallet. It's with this little tabard. I got it for like $2, and it really had nothing to do with the fact that it was Ferragamo. I wanted red so I could see it in my bag. I wanted it to be small, this small, and I wanted it to like stay shut but not have a zipper I had to fuddle with. So it's got a cool like latch thing here. I can't show you what's in there because it's filled with, you know, credit cards and things, but there we are. Uh, okay, this is in my way, so I'm just going to take it out. This is the holster for my cell phone. I have the Google Nexus 6S or something in a unicorn beetle case, and it comes with this holster, and of course, I don't wear a holster, but I do put it in here when I put it in my bag. That way it's not lost in my bag, and it's not getting broken in my bag. So, my cell phone holster is in there. A diaper. A diaper, a diaper, a receipt, ooh, a receipt from that super cool coffee shop. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post a little collage of pictures of my boys at a really cool coffee shop that's like a log cabin thing. The receipt from there. Wipes. A shopping list um, from grocery shopping. Exciting. Mikey's. I keep like a carabiner to try to control the chaos, but it's chaos. What else have I got? A spoon. A thing that tells me how many rewards points I have at the grocery store. That grocery store is like, um, it's like whose line is it anyway? Points don't matter. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with the points. A pad. A shopping list from groceries, another pad, a Kleenex, a diaper, a pencil. My kids got pencils and we went to a basketball tournament at our local high school, our parochial high school, and they gave them pencils. A baby toy. It's like colored rings. Super old school. Uh, tiny, tiny backstory. This was my baby toy when I was a baby. Um, I was adopted at birth, and this is one of the things that I came with. My birth parents actually gave this to me when they sent me to my foster mom. So there's that. Kleenex. Ooh, hand and face wipes. I got something to say about this. First of all, hand and face wipes are a fantastic idea. I've had the Target ones before. Those are really good. These are terrible. These are like the Johnson's ones. They smell so potently. They smell like antibacterial soap. Kind of like dial soap. And the smell lingers on your kids for like hours. I do not like these. Will not repurchase. A punch card for Quick Trip for buying milk. The more milk you buy, eventually you get a dollar off or something. This is a sticky note. Telling me about some medication I was taking once upon a time. Little stuff, stupid. This is a receipt from 
Aldi's. Yes. This is my last Aldi haul, I think. 60 bucks. If you haven't watched that, maybe I'll link it over here. <laughs> a handkerchief. We're a handkerchief family. I know I just pulled like 16 clinics out of my purse. Ah! But we use handkerchiefs most of the time. The clinics are pretty much for my husband. Oh, this is a pair of baby socks. This is a chew toy. It's one of those ones with water in it. I think my son is probably past eating a chew toy, so I could probably get rid of that. This is a cough drop. I think there's more of those in here somewhere. But that's got a tiny funny story, too. I was really sick one day, and I asked my husband if he had cough drops at school, and if he did, he should bring some home. And he said, no, I don't. But ooh, the teacher that he works with, she's a very sweet lady, she asked him who he was talking to. He said he was talking to me, and she said, what does she need? He said cough drops. And so she sent home like some random cough drops that she had in her desk. Um, a candy wrapper. If you see me throwing stuff down there, I have a garbage. <laughs> like a garbage in a recycling. So I'm not just like chucking my trash on the floor. That'd be funny though. Uh, ooh, coupons for free subs from Cousins. And a teeny tiny little baby measuring tape. This comes in handy more often than you think. Like, if I see furniture at the thrift store and I'm not sure it's going to fit in the room that I want it for, I can measure it. And then in my little tiny cell phone pocket, I have two quarters for all these, for checking out the carts. That's it. That's my whole bag. So I hope you enjoyed that. Or something. Or it helped you realize that your bag's not that messy. I don't know. <laughs> Check out my other social media. You can find things like pictures from that coffee shop, my Aldi's haul. Check out my other videos that I've been linking. Yeah, that's about all I got for you. See you guys around. Bye.